Okay, now to a man that makes all things good in the world, especially with his <laughs> food. And you've got chicken on the menu, Mark. Hi. That's right, we've got chicken on the menu. We're going to bake it. We're going to make a beautiful tarragon and mustard sauce. Got a little bit of white wine and some cream in there as well. It's a classic combination to go with chicken, and it's a really, really simple recipe. And then we're just going to roast some potatoes and serve that as a little accompaniment to our creamy chicken. And look what I found in the fridge. Duck fat. They're going to go on the potatoes and make the best potatoes uh, a little bit later on in the show. Now it's over to Mel. Great to have you with us, and coming up a little later in the show, we'll get to see award-winning singer-songwriter Mal Parsons perform live, so do make sure you stick around for that. Right now, though, delicious baked chicken to make. So what's the first thing we need to do, Mark? Right, so we're going to concentrate on the chicken in this yes. first segment. Yep. Right, so I've uh, chosen the thigh. Yep. So it's really good. It stays a bit juicier if you cook it. Mm -hmm. Great for baking, so Yum. it's going to lightly season that. You can do the recipe with um, breast if you want. Just be a little bit um, careful that you don't dry it out. Right. But it's great that we bake it in a sauce, so it will keep a bit more uh, moisture in. But we're going to get some colour on that. So, nice hot pan, bit yes. of oil, yes. um, and get some colour. You can leave the skin on if you want, crisping the skin up, that's always nice. If you don't want the skin, um, just take the skin off and then we'll just get some colour on the, uh, the actual fry meat there. So you go, you go the smooth side first? Yeah, the okay. uh, presentation side. And why'd you fold that back over? Because um, I'm going to get a nice colour and I'm going to bake them as in little parcels. Because right. if you do them too thin, then it's just going to overcook. Right, so okay. I want to cool. give it enough time in the oven to develop those flavours, and that's why we're sort of... Um, you know, putting them over so it's a little bit thicker. Nice. We've got okay. some UK comedians here today, uh, and there's only three bits of chicken. <laughs> uh, there's two comedians and me. Fantastic. <laughs> 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 you know, that was funny. <laughs> OK, right. Uh, do the onion, then. <laughs> right, then, so we've got some onions as well. So we're going to uh, we're going to fry the chicken first, really nice colour, so five, six minutes just on one side, get a really nice caramelised colour. We'll flip it over a couple of minutes, and then we're going to put the onions in as well, and that's going to be the start of our sauce. So okay, just, nice. just a red onion as well. So you in red for a little bit of sweetness nice. so just sort of slice it slice it down and then you can check the check the color on the uh, chicken oh you show us the color we're looking for so you can see it's sort of starting to come now yeah. gonna go a little bit more a little bit more but remember as well in a hot oven we're gonna get a little bit more color on okay nice but it's not there's nothing better than roast chicken yum no i do love chicken right, so we got that i'll give it a little bit more of a seasoning on that side, and this is where you're going to get flavour as well, right? Okay. So, you, so you need to get this colour. Do it in stages. Take your time. Well, we'll put the we'll put the onions in now, just because we want to sort of speed up. Yep. You know, and all those flavours from the chicken is going to cook in the onions as well. Yeah. You know, so we like these one pot one, one pot wonders, don't we? Yeah, we do. These dishes. That's it. So is there you happy? go. So nice, yeah, nice colour. You can go a little bit darker if you want, okay. but we'll just flip that over. And then we're just getting the onions. Mm, so yum. give the onions two, three minutes as well. Get, you can get a little bit of colour on the onions if you want. And then we've got some chicken stock. And I'm going to put a little bit of butter in now. When you put the onions in, put a little bit of butter in. That's just going to help soften them and give it some more flavour. OK. And then we've got some chicken stock and some white wine. Nice. So that's always good. Yeah, chicken, then. white wine, tarragon, mustard. Just beautiful combinations. Right, so... Get to this stage, you know, if you want, take a, uh, take the onions a little bit more colour or just watch the uh, the flames here. White wine goes in first. Yep. Bring it up to the boil, so that's taking all the alcohol off now, so the alcohol's off. Mm -hmm. And then just going to pop a little bit of chicken stock in there. Bring it back up to the boil and then we're going to bake that in a hot oven, about 180 degrees for, probably these will probably take about, what, 15 minutes? Yeah, oh, after 15 you, minutes. Know, you're the, you're the <laughs> chef. <laughs> um, and this is good too, this pan, because this handle comes straight off. You can go yeah, yeah, so you can chuck yeah. it and take the handle off. Um, don't put a pan in with a plastic handle. No. Because, yeah, you get some extra uh, smells <laughs> nice in there, what work. you don't want. Uh, and then we'll bring it out, and then we'll still have some liquid in there, and we'll finish the sauce around it, and then we're going to roast some potatoes in a minute. Fantastic. OK, don't forget you can go to the cafe.co.nz to get the recipes, and if you do put one up, um, put it on our Facebook page. We'd love to see how you go. Now, we need to finish off the tarragon sauce for the chicken. So here's our chicken here. We've sped it up. Yep, so that's, that's been baked. baked. So it's just come yep. out of the oven. So I'm just going to... Uh, I've just popped it back on the stove just to start reducing that liquid down. Take your chicken out. Yes. So that's just going to rest there. So you don't want your you don't want your juice to dry out while it's baking, do you? you well, no. That. There's a, there's enough liquid in there to um, to bake the chicken. Right. And then, I mean, we're pretty much there now. Cool. I'm just going to get these potatoes on. So, um... Lots oh, of look fat. at that. Dock fat. Nice. Anything cooked in duck fat's good. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we've got a really hot pan. Get the duck fat in there. Yeah. And then I've just cubed these potatoes. Just make sure you wash them and then you can leave the skin on there. Okay, Make brilliant. sure you dry them as well. 
I'm just going to put some nice cubes in there. So these are not going to take too long. So you probably can roast these in a nice hot pan if you don't overcrowd it and it's frying all the time for about sort of, you know, about 10, 12 minutes and, and it will be ready. What's the importance of the size? Out of oh, it'll just um, so try and get it, chop it all the same size. So like if one you can. centimeter by one centimeter is about yeah, even right. a little bit before. Yeah. It's just going to cook faster. Okay, if cool. You, you can cook it. You can cut it bigger if you want. But I'd start it off in the pan and then I'd throw it into the oven. Okay. You cool. know, because it's just going to take ages um, just to cook it. Like nice. the bigger it is, the more it's going to take. Right. Nice little bit of salt goes in there. Yep. And we just want to keep that frying, so you can see it all bubbling. Yep. Cool. And then a bit of garlic as well, like to just cut it across the equator. We like to say. Okay. Cool. And then. Leave the skin on, that's good. It's all flavour. And just break it up. And then the garlic's going to roast with the potatoes and just give it a wicked flavour. And the garlic will soften as well and you can pop it out of the shell and eat that as well. Oh, yum. OK. Right, so now sauce. let's finish off our sauce. So we've got all the juices, all the chicken juices there from uh, roasting is in this sauce now, so we've got heaps of flavour. A little bit of mustard. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pop that in, stir that through, and that's going to help like emulsify it and give it a nice... Um, it's going to cut through that richness of the uh, cream. Okay, that goes in there, and then now a little bit of cream to finish. I'll pop that in, bring it all up to the boil, and then simmer it for a couple of minutes, mm -hmm. and it will just thicken slightly, and then pretty much you're ready to go. Chicken goes back in, and then we'll just pop some uh, chopped tarragon through it last minute, and that oh, is yeah. uh, good to go. Well, she's quite a fast dish to make, isn't it? Well, oh, yeah. Good. I mean, whilst, you, whilst your chicken's cooking in the oven, you know, you get your potatoes on, and then it should all come together. Oh, there you go. Well, any more steps we need to do? No, just bring that down, finish it with the tarragon, chicken back in, have the first potatoes, and then it is ready to Brilliant. Eat. OK, looking forward to this. Over to you, Mark. How's it looking? Oh, we are finished. Just going to plate it up now. Got those beautiful duck fat roast potatoes, a little bit of the chicken, and then I finished the sauce with the tarragon and some broad beans as well, just Yum. very last minute. Look at that sauce. Well, that looks delicious. OK, oh, bring wow. it over. Yum. OK, sweet. And Ooh. what's happening tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I've got Annabelle Langbein on the show and we're doing chicken and ginger dumpling bowl. Yeah. She awesome. is amazing. I love her food too. That book is incredible. Awesome.